Hello, my name is Mary Dorridge, the manager of the Red House Tea Tech Builders. Now I'm here to just talk today about my DVD video that I released on the market. Now this is volume one. This volume will show you how the foundation, how to lay out the foundation, how I work out the foundation. Now I try to make sure that this DVD is as real as possible. Where you can hear the sound of the mixer, the sound of the 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 compactor digging out the um the excavator digging out the hole the sound of the whacker so let me give you the feeling like you actually is there now that data will come in out the foundation 60 feet of the foundation how we build blocks how you cast the concrete how we do the lift in the floor how you do the lift in the floor now this is what take place in normal anybody else when you coming up with 16 feet off the ground this is the thing that you need to do how you need to dig out the foundation how you need to compact the mark now this is why I'm saying again, you cannot just build blocks and just buy a truck, a truck, a truck load of foundation, a truck load of mar into a foundation. I don't expect to bring a bobcat level off and not get a little whacking, whacking. No, that's no no. That don't work. Now the correct way how to do that then is when you bring the truck to bring the mar, the mar must go in the lift. And when you can do it in lift, you gotta get a little roller if you can compact up to 8 inches, or you get a, a 3 ton roller compact up to 8 inches, or a 12 ton roller to compact up to up to 12 inches. Now, when you compact this mar and everything coming up to 12 inches, when you put the floor up on top of it, the floor will be stable. That is why you need to get an engineer on the job. Now, I tell you all, homeowners and builders, when you're building anything, Try to utilize our talent that we have in Barbados. We have good engineers and good architects. Utilize them, they will help guide you in the right direction. Now, I'm a builder, I'm not an engineer, I'm not an architect. So, I myself is rely on the engineer, my engineers, and my architect in order to put me in the right direction. Now, I will tell you all that if you're building a house, and you know you got a house building about $500,000, that is a big investment. If you don't do it right the first time, you can pay for it going down the lane. So when you build in it and you hire a contractor to build it, make sure and include an engineer in the cost of the job. Now what does engineer can do for you? Now he did straight your structure. He can tell you what type of steam must go in the work, how the, the man must put in, what type of boxing must go on, how the boxing must strap. He can try to minimize everything for you. So this is what you got to use an engineer. There's too long that we taking these people who we send to school and we didn't use them. That's not the way. There's a no no, there's a new time. You realize the educated people that is wrong with us. Now, that video dealing with that section. Now, I got a part two and three. This coming up, adding on to some of that, and it dealing so well with the um, putting on the omni um, floor as well. Because right now, with this house here, we build it out of omni um, slab. Now, they got good floor people in Barbados. You have Piconco, they do an excellent floor. You have Symmetron, they must do an ex excellent floor. Now, they're, they're located in um, they're located in Newton Plantation, and their number is 4294982. And you have um, Piconco that located in um, Lays Gap. Now, I would recommend, as a builder, that if you build in a normal three-bedroom house, in these days, use a precast slab because you got more money to do things to the house you have more money left for it much cheaper and it lasts more longer because I'm telling you now if, if people can come in Barbados and use precast slab for hotels that cost millions of dollars why we can't use it in Barbados for a normal house because these are new times so I would recommend that instead of using Mars use build up the blocks from the inside only to for too long I understand from our voice to give the people you will hire a contractor that don't know what he's doing, but want to tell you he know what he's doing. Instead of building the mere walls from the plan to hold up the house, they will go and build all the whole entire bottom floor into the foundation. For what? You don't need that. Anytime you're building a house, you need to erect the outside and the walls is going to hold up the roof. You don't need no partition walls in the foundation. No, that is a no. This is why when you get ready to build your foundation, you need to get an architect, or you need to call our firm and ask our firm our voice. As they tell you in um, 
part one. We have architects that have dispatched for the job. We have engineers that dispatch for the job. That's not a problem. As I tell you, the fee for engineer is 250 and the fee for architect to come along is 250. Now they will give you all the ideas you want and they will save you thousands of dollars in the foundation. So before you go and start a job, let the our engineer come and tell you which walls need to build in the foundation. And this can save you a lot of money. Instead of just going and build the foundation, we don't build the foundation, the, the body got around the barrel wall, you got around the closet wall. You don't need those walls on the foundation. You're not building another house in the foundation. Alright. Now that D with that D. Now this CSO D will coming up. This is part two and three. This coming up off of the um from part one, dealing with the foundation. Now, part four and five coming right up with dealing with the top of the floor when the floor cast. Now, part six, we deal with how you protect the blocks and build the blocks and everything. And it will show you exactly what you have to do. Now, let me tell you, when you're building blocks, now if you're building four inch blocks, you can't really put concrete in the block holes. But what you've got to do is do some mortar as you build the blocks and pack the steel holes as you build the blocks. Good. When you're doing a six inch block and you're building a block, six inch blocks, now you've got to pour them at five courses. Because what is happening is that the mortar is get tripped inside the blocks. So if you pour them any taller, you can find you get a lot of air holes. Next thing. When you're doing the eight inch block work now, now any engineer will tell you that he prefer if you could get a whole eight inch, if you're doing an eight inch wall, you can build the wall right up to eight feet. It'd be about ten courses. Bore a hole at the bottom, take the long steel and shove it straight down to the top and tie it at the bottom and block the hole and pour the concrete. Now it's always good that when you pour wall and so tall, you must leave a little hole at the bottom so that the air that the concrete push down in the blocks will release at the bottom. So you will get a solid wall going straight up through. Now that is a better type than you can think about. Now remember, every two feet you must put with force. Now with force is something that we get from BRC and Barbies Limited. Now I find that to be very excellent piece. Whoever thinking that idea is a beautiful idea. Now that there, so you must need to put weight force. Now that weight force will stop any cracking that can appear in the blocks over time. So if you put weight force every two feet, if you get any stress, that is take the stress away from the block work. So you don't got no, no kind of cracks coming up through there. So it's always best to use that. Now you can get there in 4, 6, and 8, and 12. Best to use that. Now we got uh now we coming up to the room. Now we got an uh, idea in six that when you when it bounces, six, you see six that you can put up the electrical boxes without for too long we're seeing people building walls. Then two pipes come out and then coming back afterwards we're healthy and licking up all the block work just to put in boxes. No, that's the whole idea. That finish me. From the time you put down the first two courses of blocks. You get the electrician to lay the box on top of the blocks. Then the next course come around, get an iron aguinum, cut out the small hole for the blocks, set the blocks, set the box right down there, and you go along that way. But until you get to thought you have no electrical work, no plumbing work. Now when you get to the, the, the plumbing pipe, the pipe is come out nine inches. So when the first course of blocks come, you get you let the, the plumber lay out the pipe, turn around, box it up, pour it, and protect the pipe above. Now the whole idea is to get away from doing things how people does them. People, speed is alright. But if you can work with sinks, you don't mind speed. If you can build, and when you get to the top of the eight inch block, you don't got no more electrical work, then you do the building for job instead of building 2,000 blocks in one day, and then the electrician come with two pound hammer, plumber come with two pound hammer, and lick up all the entire blocks. Now that's foolishness. That don't work anymore. The system to work building blocks is to let go the first two courses. You let boxes turn on at 13 inches. Bring the blocks up. Bring the boxes up. Let West Bank talk the blocks. When you don't let West Bank talk the blocks, let the contractor come around with next course of blocks. Cut up the way the box is going to be. Bring the box. Pin the box there and go. Now, the whole idea is that when you go to pin the box onto the wall, because don't care how much you plaster. Plaster, when the water subsides of the plaster, it always comes out of plumb by an eighth of an inch. So you will never ever get a wall plaster straight. And next thing, when you can build a block wall, there's no wall that can go straight up plumb. You always got a tolerance of a quarter inch. So what you got to do is lay out the room, 
scrape. If you look on an elbow, you'll see it scrape the room first. Let our tailor scrape. Take off the amount off the wall and plumb the wall up in order to get plastered. Now all these things here that I tell you that you will see in my video and in my book. Right? Or when you can do the roof, you must get some hold on straps. You get them from BRC. Always strap the roof of a long strap. Do not go and build a roof of galvanized and nails and just say, hey, that's good. When a storm come and come off, then you're crawling. Go and get a long straps from BRC and Lear's Gap. Then you got, they got many things there for you. They got the galvanized that you can get. They got the, the bolts. They got the straps. They got steel. They got everything you want to do this place with. All right, next thing, the floor. Now you can get floors from Preconco in Lays Gap or you could get floor from Symmetron in um in Newton. Now like I tell you, Newton the number for them is 4294992. So you can call 1246-4294992. Those guys work any place along with Preconco. Now like I tell you again, right? I prefer to use slab floor or omni floor. The same thing. You can get omni from ready mix. Ready mix does omni floor, the same way. What the other guys do pre sap pre, pre cast floors, which is good. All two of them work just fine. Now it's much cheaper and this is floor you can put down in one day. You could do a three thousand floor, this guy put down three thousand floors and six thousand floor in one day. Now this is modern times you need to save money in order to help buy things for the house and finish the house. So if you use these things, you will get too much faster. Now, as I tell you again, you can get my DVDs from all the bookstores that I mentioned in the first video, and I will mention them again. Now, my DVDs and books is available at these stores. CNI Hardware, Hotel, Express Hardware, Christchurch, RT Hardware in uh, Worthing, Position Electrical and Sales Service in Bush Cox, St. George, PNL Hardware in Tweetside Road, My Lawsail Hardware in My Lawsail. Glasgow in Robert Street, Dale's Bookstore in Independence Square, Coyster Bookstore. Now they got branches in Sherwin and Center as well in Hink, and Hink Street in um, Bridgetown. You can get it at the bookstore online. They're available at Welch's in front of the telephone company or you can get them at uh, BCC which is a uh, community college. You can get it at Pages Bookstore. Now, Pages is usually selling, but they don't have a video at the moment. Or you can get it at UWI, University of West Indies Bookstore. They have the DVD. Now, all these books, all these DVDs are selling at a great, fantastic price of $12.99. Now, if you don't get time to get it there, you can email me at wwh at hotmail.com and they can buy one for your free of charge. Free delivery. But the price will be $12.99 the same way. You can also get the book at the book place. At the book place as well. Now, like I tell you now, these DVDs is to help you and to show you a guidance how to do things. This is my knowledge that I pass it on to everybody because I figure that for too long, people ain't showing people the way how to do things. And this is from a builder point of view. Now, I am a builder. I'm also a author of the Wayne Dorris Construction Manual, which you will see in the bookstore as well. Now if you go on my site, WDORAGE YouTube, and go to my channel, you will see that I released two chapters of my book inside the um, on the internet. My book costs $34.50 and I can tell you it's very helpful. It got a lot of tips in it. It got the way how to add up concrete, it got how to build boxing, it got how to do the foundation, how to scrape the foundation. It have a lot of things in it and you will find it in them as well and you can keep it close to your heart. Now that is all I have to say for now. Bye.